The Honourable Leader of the National Party. Mr Speaker, my question is directed to the Treasurer and is without notice. Are you aware of the letter published uh, subsequently and dated the 7th of July from the Prime Minister to Duncan Bell, Executive Director, Australian Gold Mining Industry Council, which says in part, and I quote in the second paragraph, you have my undertaking, we will not introduce a gold tax during the next three-year term of the Labor government. Were you aware of that prior to the 7th of July, the preparation of that letter and uh, the related uh, decisions taken, which gave that assurance uh, in that communication uh, subsequently released by the Prime Minister? The Honourable the Speaker, Deputy the letter Prime would Minister. have only given uh, uh, written confirmation of the things that the Prime Minister had said uh, uh, orally to the industry. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Mr Speaker, um, uh, the significance of whether I was aware the letter was written or not is insignificant, because the point was made by the Prime Minister and by me that we would not be uh, uh, legislating in the course of, uh, of, that, uh, of that parliament. And uh, what, uh, what in fact happened was that we did legislate for effect at the expiration of the parliament. But, Mr. So, Mr Speaker, the government actually removed the exemption, which had been there for as many years as one can uh, remember, back to the 1930s, as I understand. So, uh, but, uh, but the interesting point is, Mr Speaker, who made contributions to the Liberal Party from the gold industry? that got them to make a declaration that they would never change the tax. <laughs> uh, who, uh, now look, we all know about, uh, we're finding more about Western Australia, but let's not pretend that all of these, uh, all of these small entrepreneur types in the gold industry from Western Australia did not have close connections with the Liberal Party and that got tweaked the Liberal Party again into declaring and upping the ante on the gold issue saying that they would not remove the exemption. I mean, after all, you were the people who, and you opposed it at the end. You opposed the removal of the exemption. I mean, the fact is, we, who taxed the gold industry? Who removed the exemption? The government. Who didn't? The opposition. And uh, why? The question is, why? Why didn't you remove the exemption? Yes, and we, know, and, we, and we know, but we're waiting for your answer. Who was contributing to you? And who was so successful in their contribution as to keep you loyal to their cause? I mean, who? Tell us. Tell us who in the gold industry had uh, contact with the then leadership of the opposition and, uh, and uh, the various Western Australian and the various Western Australian Order. federal MPs from the Liberal Party. Tell us. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, of course, with the Country Party. I mean, it's very interesting getting this question. I mean, if ever the most proven corrupt party in this country is the National Party of Australia, the cr proven corrupt party. Order. Uh, and uh, I mean, half of the former Queensland cabinet is in jail. And uh, Mr. Speaker, we've got the leader of the National Party up asking. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we've got the leader of the Order. National Party up asking questions about issues of propriety. Don't make us laugh. The Honourable Member for Oxley.